Two men curious about an historic Youngstown train station ended up making their own history. They saved a man who somehow ended up in the Mahoning River. First News anchor Stan Boney met with one of the heroes today. Stan's live in the newsroom with the story. Well, on Monday evening, Youngstown's Tom Shuba had to drop off a family friend, Craig Caldron, at the downtown Youngstown bus station. Craig was headed to California. They were a little bit early. They decided to blow some time. And Tom had never seen the historic B&O train station up close. So they went over there, checked it out, when they heard a cry coming from the Mahoning River. Now, this afternoon, I met Tom Shuba at the train station and retraced with him how this all happened. How they heard the cry for help at around 545 and walked down to an embankment to the river's edge. How Craig Caldrone wanted to get into the river and Tom said no, fearing a second person in the water would be a bad thing. They found the man, later identified as Arturo D'Amato, standing in the river waist deep, his arm in a pipe being the only thing keeping him from floating away. With Craig being a little younger and a little more fit than I am, I, you know, I decided to stay, try to stay at the top of the hill when he went down to assist him as you know, human chain. Him first and me holding on to his arm and trying to pull the guy up. Now, Tom and Craig were able to pull Arturo from the water. They called 911. Youngstown police, the fire and ambulance showed up. Now, we don't know anything about Arturo D'Amato, specifically how he ended up in the water in the first place. Tom was told Arturo was hypothermic, but would be okay. Now, keep in mind, Craig Caldrone had to catch a bus at 6.30, and this was all happening at 5.45, but Tom got him to the bus station and on his way on time. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.